The other day, I was talking to my man, Carl Jones. The Black Dynamite? Black Dynamite. Carl, I know and, Carl. Uh, I did yeah. voiceover on Carl. Right, Black right. Dynamite. Well, you know, he, I knew him from the Boondocks. Okay. He, he's the one that put me into the Boondocks. Oh, wow, cool. As a character in the oh, Boondocks. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so I was talking to Carl Jones. Yeah. Oh, well, my man, Michael Jai White. Michael Jai. Michael Jai White, who actually I hang out with these days. Oh, do you? Yeah. Man, he's in fact, cool as hell. He has, uh, in, you know, because he has like this house in the back with like like a movie room, basically. And so he has a bunch of like stuff from his movies. Yeah. And he has a Black Dynamite Afro pick that's as big as you. What? That's dope. It's he's like a promo dude. piece from like cool guy, right? Yeah, very cool. humble. I very love his cool. di- his his. His uh, interview was fantastic. Oh, yeah. His pops and his yep. whole, and he's a bad dude, man. Well, you actually played Al Sharpton. Yes. In Black the Dynamite. Fiddle Faddle thing, yeah. Can you do the Al Sharpton? I don't remember because I was like, but you have to understand the fiddle faddle is my favorite thing to eat. And I did this whole, it was about, he was eating something I can't remember, but Carl called me up out of the blue because it was Ari Spears that hooked it up for me. Ah. Ari Spears was like, yo, God. He's like, man, yo, son. He's like, I can't do Al Sharpton. And I said, you can do that shit, son. And he hooked me up. I was like, Aries looked out. That's my man. Aries hooked me up. So, And then Carl was like, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I go, well, where the fuck have you been, brah? Where have you been? I would have loved to have done some voices on that shit. But I hope Carl is doing some, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, he's working on some new shit. That would be great to be like, yeah. you know, talk to him and still do some stuff because, you know. Oh, I remember I interviewed uh, Michael Franzese. He was uh, like a high-ranking Italian mafia member. Yeah, I saw. The, I didn't see the whole. Yeah. but I know who you're talking about. And uh, he talked. You know, he had some dealings with Al Sharpton. And what he told me in the interview, which I actually looked up to be true afterwards, was that Al Sharpton was actually an FBI informant. Al Sharpton at the time, he was a gun for hire. You know, we would uh, we needed him to do some things with his own people, which he called them at the time. We hired him to do it. We used to pay him, you know. He, he was he was uh, he was valuable in the music business because the Norby Walters, the guy I had at that time that was booking all these acts, we'd send Al out to to meet with the act that he wanted to book, and Al would bring him to us for a price. That's hmm. how we used him. So uh, I, I know Al very well. Okay. And what happened with Don King? Well, they had an undercover operation on me for about eight to nine months. I eventually, but I was very leery of these guys. I was very careful how I, I worked with them. And I eventually brought them to Don King. But in the first meeting that I had with King, I said, look, I, I can only trace these guys back maybe a year. I said, so in this first meeting we have, don't say anything illegal. Play it straight. So everything across the board. They want to invest money. They'll invest it with you. We'll get into the fight game. But don't talk about anything you shouldn't be talking about. So we had the meeting. And he did it exactly like that. What happened was, and it was a big case, we called it shadow boxing. That was the, I mean, Sports Illustrated wrote it up. It was a whole big thing. Uh, what happened was they tried to continue. They were trying to get the money to give to Don. It was going to be a lot of money at the time. And they had, I believe, 81 tape recordings of me. They turned it over to the U.S. attorney at the time. And none of those tape recordings uh, uh, worked to have me indicted. I didn't say anything on him that would hurt myself. So they eventually had to close it down, and it went nowhere. But the only one that got in trouble over that was Al Sharpton, because he tried to do a drug deal with the, uh, the agents. And, uh, and then he became an informant after that, 100%, no matter what he says. He was an informant. He tried to do a drug deal. They got him on tape doing the deal, the whole bit. Oh, you didn't see the footage? He had a wire rod and he had everything. A wire rod, he had a little pimp hat and shit. You see with the cowboy hat? I guess like what they said was he got caught doing a drug deal. Yeah. So he agreed to have to wear a wire yeah. against Italian mafia members. Yeah. Can you believe that shit? This fucking people guy. call me the police. They they say you're the feds. They say, say I'm the feds. They think you're the feds. But they support Al Sharpton. Yeah. Al Sharpton's Sh- 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 <laughs> like this. But the, at the time, I was trying my best. To get, I was not really trying to go against. It was what I was going through that happened. What the fuck out of here? He said, I'm not a rat. I I catch rat. I'm a rat catcher. Or something. I'm a you cat. are a fucking groundhog, motherfucker. God damn it. It's bigger than a rat. He was like, and these Italians are like, can you believe this fucking guy? Believe this fucking. Can you believe this James Brown hair wearing motherfucker? Can you believe this guy? I got you fat piece of shit. I can't. What the fuck? You got the Moulinyan, this fucking religious Moulinyan fucking tricked you? <laughs> you know what I mean? I There's footage. There's footage. Al Sharpton being a fucking rat, dude. Whoop. Wearing you know? a wire. 
wearing a goddamn wire because Al was probably going to go to jail. He's like, shit, I'll do whatever I got to do. What do I got to do? Suck dick? What do I got to do? <laughs> shit. <laughs> I suck a mean dick. Goddamn. Shit, what you need? Goddamn. Shit. I just don't want to go to jail. Shit. Goddamn. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. Al Sharpton. Yeah. But, you know, he still continues to be a, a relevant figure. I mean, didn't Obama meet with him, like, you know, as he was running for office and stuff like that? Well, yeah, you know, here's the thing. Al has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Al was a pimp. He was, you know, he, he was, was a pimp? Yeah, Al was a heavy set. Well, I know he, he looked big, like a pimp, but he was, but was he no, actually? He was into all that shit. And Al, I hope I'm not wrong. I think I'm right. He hung out when James Brown came around. And James Brown, you know, kind of like, that's why his hair... Perm. Right. Yeah. James is like, listen, eh, no more pivot. You can't do it no more. Uh, you got the fucking chain. Time to change me the ass out there. Hey, uh, step into the life. I'm going to tell you, honey. Wait a minute. Send a dinner. We're going to tell him, honey, then. That's what he said to Al. Uh, I, I can't find anything about Al Sharpton being a pimp. So then Al wasn't a pimp. <laughs> he just looked so, like one. But I, he just looked like a pimp then. <laughs> but Al was into whatever he was, and James Brown kind of came and kind of like mentored him. I don't know if he understood James at all at the time, you know, because now he's like this. You got to change. You got to put it up. Something. <laughs> and I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> but he he was a big um, influence. James Brown was a big influence on Al Sharpton. And then Al became a reverend. And then Al, you know, remember Tawana Brawley? He he got involved in a lot of politics. He, I think he tried to run for president too. I think Al Sharpton tried to run for. Was president. that Jesse Jackson? Like Jesse Jackson. So Al actually became a big political figure. I am on Sirius XM on channel 126, the same channel he's on. It's, oh. an it's called Urban View, channel 126. And Al Sharpton is on that channel. Channel one, It's Urban View. It's, so you guys run into each other? I No, I always see him at the Havana Club. It's a cigar bar. I see Al when I'm there. I'm not there all the time. But when I go there, Al is there smoking cigars with his buddies and all that. So Al is a, basically a celebrity. He's a celebrity. He's... A celebrity reverend who has been around for a long ass time. Right. He's you've seen him change, and he's become really politically smart, politically aware. You know, he's in the system. You know what I mean? So and he's still got the perm, and he's right. got the little skinny head, the little and his body is like little body big and the head, head is like head a stop sign. Al Sharpton's like, I just want to hit his head and shit be, Hallelujah. <laughs> 